Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Make an RPG. This is episode 10 and today we're going to continue creating our uh, base player and our character so that we can instantiate in the world. And then I'm going to uh, begin covering just a little bit how to save using player prefs so that we can uh, have information when we go to different scenes within the game that help us with our combat system and then when we when, and then when we actually instantiate the character. So we're going to be working on our uh, the script to create a new character script that we worked last time. But the first thing I want to do is in Mono Develop, open up your base player script that we created. And I just want to show you guys real quick a shorthand way of doing a public getter and setter. And so what I do normally is write it out like this, just so you can see the whole public get and set. But C Sharp has the ability to shorthand it. And what I mean by shorthand is instead of writing that all out, you can just go public string player name and then you just uh, I believe it's brackets and you just go get and set and that's it I'm going to um, comment that out I'm going to control to save and this is, is this essentially does the same exact thing as this as these four lines so you can go through the scripts that we worked on before and just change these to this if you want or you can keep them it's just just a little side note for you guys just so you know uh, so anyways the next thing we're gonna I'm gonna control s just and go back to Unity real quick show you that there's no errors next thing we're gonna do is go back to our create new character and today I'm going to show you how to um, set it up so that you can choose the name you want for your character and it's very simple all you do is create a private variable it's a string and it's gonna be the player name Go, you're, we're going to go down to our on GUI, and to keep it simple, I'm going to keep using GUI layout so it uh, layouts all the GUI features. Unity lay, lays them all out for me, and I'm going to go player name is equal to GUI layout dot text area, and then all it needs is a string, so you just send in player name. Now you can leave it blank like this, or you can go back up to player name, press enter. And then we're going to enter, just type in inner name or inner name as the uh, starting string. And when we put it in the game, we'll be able to change it. So here we have a text area that allows the player or the player to input the name they want for their character. And then down here, when we hit the create button, after, underneath all of our stats, we'll go new player dot name is equal to player name. And then we're going to create a debug statement so that we can see it. And I'll show you the creation of it. So copy, paste, change class to name. And then we're going to change new player dot player name. Control list to save again. And we're going to jump back into Unity. I'm going to press play. And right away, you can see that we have a inner name box that we didn't have before. So in here you can highlight it. I'm going to hit Dan because that's my first name. I'm going to hit Mage. I'm going to hit Create. And if we go back up to our console, if I can, let me pause it. Doesn't want to go down for me. Hold on. There we go. You can see that I created a player name and it is their name is Dan. I'm a Mage. I'm level 1 and these are my starting stats. So again, very simple. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wanted to finish that up from last time. Again, you can expand it. I believe uh, if we go back to our, you can set a limit on the size of the player name area. So if you wanted it to be 16 or 15 long, I think you can do comma 15. And if not, I'll have to come back and check. But I believe you can do comma 15 and it limits the character size. So we don't have any errors, so let's let's try it. So right away we already have, what's that, uh, 7? I can't do math, it's 9. So we have 9, so let's say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I added 15, and it won't let me do any more. So that limits the size of our name. Uh, so so you sh just to show you again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I can't add any more. I'm hitting seven, eight. Doesn't work. Select warrior, create, and there's our name. So that works perfectly. The next thing we need to do is uh, be able to save this information. And 
the, what we want to do is save the information and then keep it on an object that we always keep in every scene so that we only have to load the information once on start. So in our scene, I'm going to go up to game object. I'm going to create an empty and I'm going to call it game information. And it's just like it's just going to be an empty object. I'm going to reset its position to 000. zero, zero. Oh, I didn't save it. Excuse me. Game information. And this is where we're, we're going to store a script on here that keeps all of our uh, information. And we're going to add one line to it. And that line is going to be do not destroy on load. So I'm going to go to create a new C sharp script. And I'm going to label it game information. I'm going to drag and drop it on our game information object. I'm going to drag it, make sure it's in our scripts folder. Double click it to open it. Open mono develop. And we're going to keep these functions for now. But the first thing what we want to do is add void awake. Now void awake is much like start, except it starts before start and it does it on initial load. So the what we need is a don't destroy on load function. And you just do, uh, I think it's object transform. I think you do transform dot game object. I think that's all you need. Yeah. Okay. So what what I did here is basically this is attached to a trans. Uh, this is attached to a game object, which is our game information. And so when I say don't destroy and load, it's going to keep this object every time I load a different scene. So it's a perfect spot to store information. So what we'll do. And this will be the first part of the video. In the next part of the video, I'll continue it. Is we're going to create a whole bunch of uh, public static variables. So we'll go public static, and for now we just want player name. It's going to be a string, and we'll do player name. And the shorthand I'm going to show you again for get and sets. And I'm just going to come up here and copy this. And this is, like I said, this is where we're going to store all of our information for now because we don't have that much anyways so it's not a big deal so we need our player level uh, we can go to our base player and see we want our class we want uh, and then we'll do our stats so this is a base class this is an integer and we'll come in here int Int. This is going to be stamina. This will be endurance. Going to copy and paste these two. Going to change this to intellect. And I'm going to change this to uh, strength. Okay, so just to recap what we did real fast, it's going to be a short video, but uh, we added a player string to enter the name we attached it to or we made it equal to the GUI text area that uh, we put a size limit so the name can only be 15 you don't need this or you can make it as large as you want and what it, this does is it allows us to input a name player name and it saves it to player name or stores it and then when we hit create it actually applies it to our new character and then we created a game object in unity an empty game information object and we attached this game information script to it and we added void on awake so when it when the script becomes alive when you hit when you hit the play button when you start the game we're not going to destroy this object so this is going to stay on every scene until we leave the game and in this script we're going to like we're going with the static public static variables we're going to store information and this is going to allow us to access these this information and whatever else information you want or we put add to it later anywhere throughout the game. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you like these uh, the shorthand public getters and setters. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.